Hey everyone, McCobby here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm here today on Elite Dangerous and I'm going to be showing you how to change the colour of your GUI. As you can see, I have a nice white and green, but you can change it to pretty much any colour you like. Unfortunately, there isn't an in-game option for this, which means you do have to be on PC as we'll be playing around with some files. It's not a new concept by any means, so there's quite a few videos out there, um, but they're quite dated, so I thought I'd do a 2020 version. And also, what a lot of those videos don't explain is there's actually two different methods to do this, depending on how you've downloaded Elite Dangerous, whether that be through Steam, or if you've downloaded it without a game launcher at all. Either way, I'm going to be showing both methods, and I'll have timestamps to both in the description below, as well as a link to the only website I'll be using. But without further ado, let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go to whichever browser you use and paste in the link that's in the description and it will bring you to kind of this live representation of your cockpit with sliders of different colours that will allow you to change around what your cockpit is going to look like. Um, for me, I'm just going to have red, green, blue to 100% giving me a nice white and then green accents. Once you've picked the colour you like, uh, just minimise that window and we'll come back to that. This first method I'm going to show you is if you have Elite Dangerous downloaded through Steam. First thing you want to do is go to this PC and then click the drive that you have Elite Dangerous downloaded on. For me, I have everything on C drive. Program Files x86, go to the Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, Elite Dangerous, Products, Elite Dangerous 64, and then this file down here called graphicsconfiguration.xml or if you haven't got um, hide extensions off, then this might just be graphics configuration. This is the file we're going to be playing with today. So first thing you want to do is copy this and then paste it, which will give you an, a copy, obviously. Then you'll want to go edit and it will bring up this kind of box of text um, code, I guess. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see GUI color default, and then there's a bunch of color code string. This is what we're going to be changing today, with that website I just showed you. So if you go back to that website, once you've picked the colors you like, this box is going to be automatically updated to give you that color. You want to copy this, and then go back to that file. You want to copy what's here, and then under GUI color and then paste it with what you just copied from that website. I'm going to add tab a couple of times just because I like it nice and neat but you don't have to do that. And then once you do this you want to click file and then save. Now for whatever reason um, if you load up the game now it still is default. Um, I think this is because when the game loads it automatically looks for the graphic configuration XML file which is the original one and it ignores the copy file which is what we just changed. Um, I might be wrong in that's why it doesn't work but either way what I'm about to show you fixes that. So what you want to do is go to the original file that we copied from, right click and go properties or just rename it from there and I'm going to call it call it whatever you want but I'm going to call it backup just so we know it's the original and then once we've done that confirm that so we have our backup file then go into the copy file that we just changed the text and change that back to the original name so get rid of the copy so it's just graphics configuration.xml and then once you've done that provided you have Elite Dangerous already closed down relaunch it and everything will be good to the color that you set. This next way is if you have Elite Dangerous downloaded without a game launcher. So for that you want to go to your search bar and go percent local app data percent. Oh, I did a space, don't do a space. And then you want to click this folder right here. Once you're here, find Frontier Developments, the one with the space, not the underscore. So click on the one with the space. Elite Dangerous. Uh, then you want to go Options, Graphics, and this Graphics Configuration Override.xml is the same file pretty much that we just did. Um, we're going to be changing this one. So 
you copy this, paste it, and it is a little bit different. Once you open this, this time, you can see that all that string of text isn't there this time, which means you have to go to that website and down here, copy this, replace the text that's there, and then go back to the website, copy the text that's generated automatically depending on your colors, and replace that with the default text that's here. And once again, if you're a perfectionist like I am, you can add tab a couple of times just to make it nice and neat. Once you do that, don't forget to uh, go file and click save once again. And that's pretty much it. Make sure once again, if you have Elite Dangerous open, you close it down, relaunch, and everything should be good. Um, if it doesn't work, do the same that I did with the Steam version and just change the name of this original file to backup and then get rid of the copy on this file to so that it mimics this original file graphics configuration override.xml and then relaunch Elite Dangerous and it should work. I can't really test it out because I have it downloaded through Steam um, but that's how you do it anyway. And once you load up Elite you have your custom colors. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did please leave a like and if you're feeling extra generous please subscribe. I'll see you out there commanders. Thanks for watching.